guys, it's Keely, and today I'm going to be doing a review and demo of the Makeup Forever Foundation. Um, it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. Since I am extremely oily, like oil slick, um, I can be wearing primer, 10 pounds of foundation, 10 pounds of powder, and I'll still break through it all. So I got this sample yesterday at Sephora, and I want to try it out. So these videos are really old. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to tell you that now because I've been behind the videos, so these might be like these. This might be like a week to two old of videos, so it's going to be like that for a while. So I got in this sample, um, and yeah, so I want to try it out because I heard a lot of reviews of people saying it's going to keep you really mad. It's a really nice finish, it feels natural, everything like that. So I went out and got that, and they gave me two shades, um, 15 and 20 because they didn't know which one I was going to be. So I'm with 20 right now because I'm a little bit on the tanner side. Um, because it is summer, so I do have the 15 for when it gets a little, you know, cooler out and I'm a little lighter, so that's good to have. Um, so I have to buy foundation for a little bit, so yeah. Um, I applied it already, obviously, as you can tell. It is super amazing, like super full coverage without feeling heavy and without, um, like clogging the pore kind of thing. I did use, um, as you'll see in the video, this Makeup Forever, um... Step 1 Skin Equalizer, which is good for matting you out as well. So you'll see later in the day what I say, how it helps and stuff. Um, so I don't want to spoiler alert yet. But this foundation is amazing. It applies really good with a beauty blender. Um, usually I keep it, like, I, I never, like, re-damp it. So it's kind of always a little bit hard. But today I wanted to try it real with the uh, foundation. So I did dampen it and it got massive as you can tell. And I think it applied really well. Um, you do not need a lot because I put my finger in the little pot and I was giving that stupid dots that everyone does because usually I just pour my eye out of my hand and then I use it from there. But I put way too many dots on my face and there was a lot. So you really don't need a lot of foundation for this. You will not need concealer like to conceal your face demons that are still popping through because I have a lot of redness right now and you can't see anything. Like nothing. And I always have to go in concealer and like Go back over the spots about three or four times to make sure to build that coverage up, but like holy Jamosas, it covered all of it. Um, obviously you'll still see like little like bumps, but that's because you can't, it's not supposed to take away your acne, it's supposed to just like cover it. I will see you guys um, after I put, when I put my makeup on, so if you want to see the demo, it's going to come up now, and after that you'll see like how it wore through the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, bye! Alright, so we're going to start out with a primer. Um, usually for videos trying out new foundations, you don't usually um, put a primer on. But since um, I have a primer from the same line, and I got a sample of it, I want to try it and see if it actually does matte out. Because I heard this foundation can also make you a tad bit oily, even though it says it's like super matte. Um, so I'm just going to use my little um, 100 point perk from Sephora, Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. So it's supposed to make you very matte. So let's just put that on just in the T-zone, so it has a little squirt and all like that. So like that, and then we're just going to pop it on the T-zone. Or wherever you get the most oily. Me, it's everywhere. <laughs> Once that is on, I'm also going to use a sample that I got. So I'm trying to my using my samples up, and since I haven't used them yet, so it's like little containers. Um, this one is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in the number 20. She also gave me the number um, 15. So she didn't know which shade I'd be. So since I'm a little more tan right now, I'm going to be using um, the shade 20. And it is kind of thick. So I'm just going to put it on. I never do this, by the way, but I'm doing it for today. Dot it where I need the coverage, which is everywhere. Probably enough, uh, I'm going to guess. And I'm using my big old beauty blender. It's really gross. Like, look at the bottom of it. It's, like, breaking. So I'm going to use this freshly dampened. And I usually, I don't use it damp. I use it, like, really, like, dry. Um, so I'm just going to blend it out. Feels kind of light. Um, nothing too crazy right now. It doesn't look like it's a good color match, but in person it does. Bring it on the other side. I think I used a little bit too much. <laughs> it used to be doing really well, um, like, blending out. There's no, like, issues of it drying too quick or anything, which happens a lot with, like, um, matte foundations. But since I think I have such oily skin, 
there's nowhere really dry patches for it to stick onto. Alright, so as you can see, um, it looks kind of flawless. I'm going to turn off my little ring light so you guys can see what it looks like naturally. I'm only using my ring light just because it does brighten up a lot better the room and everything. So, this is what it looks like. You can obviously still see a little bit of bumps and things like that, but looking in my mirror right here, um, it looks pretty amazing. It looks like... Um, like my skin but better so with kind of that one layer uh, foundation like obviously as I said before you're gonna see little bumps but that is expected it's just it's supposed to cover it not get rid of your acne so pretty good amazing it literally looks and feels like my skin <clears throat> and I have not had that in a long time I haven't seen how beautiful my natural skin looks like in a long time because of my acne and stuff like that, but literally looking in the mirror, I could go out like this and I would feel like it's just my natural skin. Um, it's really lightweight. Love it for um, like a natural look, I guess. So, I don't know if I'm going to set it with powder or not. Maybe just a light dusting of um, like a Rimmel Stay Matte powder. So, transparent, so it's not going to change the color or anything. Using my Sigma F80. Just kind of packing it on. <clears throat> And it does not look cakey as I'm packing it on. Because it really did go matte. Like, that's kind of amazing. Amazing. What I no oh my god. <laughs> what I noticed is that I don't have to put a lot of powder on. Because usually when I put my foundation on, it's like an oil slick. So, um... Oh my god, I feel so good! I've always been, like, scared of trying new products. But, like, <clears throat> not sticky whatsoever. It's definitely been set. The powder just helped it, I think get rid of any excess oils or anything like that so I'm feeling pretty good coverage is literally amazing literally amazing but I have read mixed reviews saying like you know some points people say like on their skin it can get really oily and they could be like really really oily later in the day so I'm hoping that does not happen because I'm really excited to try this so I'm gonna get do the rest of my makeup uh, I'll show you guys just what I do a little bit just to see you know what I'm packing on my face today. So I'll be using the Ulta Contour Kit. I think this one in light. Who gives a fuck? And I'll be just using my little blush brush, taking these two shades right here and mixing them and putting them under my eye. I didn't even have to conceal my under eyes because this foundation is really amazing. So I'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit. Next, I'll be taking the Sephora Pro brush in 57. So this is kind of like a domed brush. Taking the darkest contour shade right here. Just kind of drawing a little bit of a line. I don't really want a harsh contour because I really want to see what it's like on my skin, this foundation. But I do want to have a little bit of color to my face. And then taking the... Whew, uh, warmth bronzer and bombshell bronzer. So these two taking on a Eco Tools big kabuki brush. Just gonna kind of blend that out. So we do my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown, which I have just hit like that point. I don't even get to see that. So I did buy another one, so I'm not sure when I will be using it. Probably right after this. So now that eyebrows are done, and they, I always make them like super arched, just because that's how I like them. So if I look weird to you, screw you. So I'm using um, the little thing I had in like a pack of five Too Faced items. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Let's look at that, and we're just going to pop that sucker on. Okay, so all I did was finish putting my mascara on, and you know I use like 15 different ones. Um, and then I put this lip on, which is just the NARS uh, Recusian Lip Cream. So, that is my face right now. Um, still looks really good with all the makeup I put on top of it. I just went for a really easy look because I'm like, I'm just going to sweat outside. I don't need no heavy layers. So, um, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with what it turned out as um, initially, like when I first put it on. <clears throat> I'm literally turning into puberty. Um, 
so yes, I will go out my day, and it is 30 degrees outside, so, and that's just, like, and then it's going to be with humidity, so probably like 35 degrees of humidity. So, um, I'll see you guys after. Since I'll be out all day, I probably will be able to check in a lot. So, I will check in with you when I get home from the end of my day and see how it lasted through all of the elements. Alright guys, so it's been about, it's 4 o'clock and I can make up on around 2. <laughs> so, um, it's been about 2 and a half, maybe hours um, after applying it. And I told you in the morning, it's 36 degrees outside right now with humidity, so... I'm sweating. So we were out, um, me and my boyfriend, and we had to move my grandpa's, um, like, large, like, 50-pound long-ass dresser into, from the basement into my car, and then now into my house. So I'm sweating balls, um, but it's holding up pretty good. It's a little dewy, as you can see, a little shiny. Um, it's not really breaking up anywhere that I can see, but... Mm, it's kind of come off around my jawline where everything is that I try to cover up and a little bit creasing under my eye but the shiniest part is probably my nose um sunk into my pores a little bit but what can you do it is a thousand degrees outside right now um so it's not horrific if I were to do anything I would just probably take a little bit of my rumble stay mat and my flat top kabuki and just kind of extra pad in there just to get that little extra coverage over the spots to try to cover a little bit on my t-zone and that's just probably it. I'll just keep a little bit of doing this so you know it is a summer day and if you look like Matt something probably wrong with you so um yeah it's holding up pretty good um I was my grandpa was trying on the grandma's old clothes I love this one piece and he was like it's her favorite piece you know so I was like I'll try it on hunty I got my foundation all around the neck of the white collar he didn't see but I was like so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, that, but yeah, so it does transfer, um, especially if you're hot, it will transfer a lot, the exact color of your face, so um, be careful with that. So yeah, I'm really hot and sticky, but it's not that sticky, it's just a little bit, you know, warm, which is expected, but, um, you know, not too bad. My nose does get oily the first, um, my chin's not that oily, I kind of see a little bit of, like, breaking up on my like chin area um, and if I touch like any spots like hands like to like you know dab it in it will remove it and it looks kind of weird so just keep that in mind so it is 4.30 now and I'll see you guys a little bit later <sighs> alright guys so it is now 10.30 11pm so story on why it looked like this um, we are at my boyfriend's dad's house we got out of the car it was raining like a mother, so you can see, like, obviously my mascara has run down my face, and that's why it looks kind of weird, so I'll kind of close you up and see, like, why. <laughs> so my mascara's kind of, like, you know, chopped down a little bit, but as I was saying, how hot it was today, and, like, muggy, and, like, my boyfriend's dad house, dad's house, the air conditioning was broken, so it was literally 38 degrees Celsius in that house, so, and this, this foundation put up, like, a, put up a fight. Um, you can still see it's pretty good. Um, maybe on my chin it kind of fell off, but I think it's because I spilt like shit on my face and I had to like rub it off. My mascara, ooh, so don't look at my mascara because the rain has obviously like deteriorated it. But like, look how good the foundation has stayed. Obviously, here you can see it's kind of like lost its um, pigmentation, it's kind of gone there. Um, I know there's maybe a little bit, but like a little bit of cakiness, but like literally you couldn't even tell if you're looking at me like face on. So, it looks really good, I think. Um, it's put up through hell and back today, literally. So, I think, uh, in all in all, this foundation was 10,000 thumbs up. I was super scared about it, but it's amazing. And size matters. Got my tea in here. So, this foundation is really good for oily skin um, in really hot, humid days. It did amazing. So, go out and get it. Make a forever matte velvet. I'm a shade number 20 right now, maybe 15 if you're really pale, which I'm going to be in the winter. So don't don't mind how I look right now. I'm a mess, but it went through rain, humidity. Good on your foundation. So go pick this up. Um, please subscribe if you like this video. Wait, who the fuck am I? Like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to this beautiful channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!